What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Prolific Reptiles. Today's video, guys, we're finally gonna go ahead and start doing some bioactive things. You guys see this enclosure right here, it needs a touch up. I had a bromeliad up there, I think it's dead. That moss looking pretty beat up, and that plant is obviously very, very dead. So you guys see all that ugly moss right there? We're gonna go ahead and take all that out, give this enclosure a good cleanup, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some more new plants that we have right here. I went ahead and I bought these two. This is actually the one that was in there, and it died but i got a new one i'm gonna go ahead and clean the roots and everything right here got the fish tank over here looking sexy you know what i'm saying but too high in ammonia right now so i cannot add any fish we have everything else right the ph the nitrate the nitrite everything is good it's just freaking ammonia that's freaking a pain in the butt we're working on it this looks pretty good if you ask me we've been decking it out we got a new light we got the heater we got the sponge filter rocks all that decoration you know temperatures right there 676 so everything is ready except the ammonia but gotta wait it out so yeah guys we got some more moss down there that i'm gonna go ahead and put we got my girlfriend over here just cleaning so she might be in and out disturbing us i'm just playing but uh yeah guys without further ado let's get straight to the video you know what i'm saying Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take all this crap out right there. You guys see that looks freaking nasty. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with some new moss over here. Right here. And I got this one right here just to make the colors come back to life. You guys see that one's all crappy and ugly. But I am going to go ahead and keep a little bit of that moss. And I'm going to stuff it in there to put it with the new plant that I'm going to be getting. Or I'm going to be putting in there. But I'm going to go ahead and start off by cleaning all this dry whatever that is built up it's all over the tank you guys see some right there i don't know where the frog is he's actually in here somewhere hiding he usually goes back here since you guys see this thing moves i'm gonna go ahead and start taking this stuff out and i'll show you guys once i take everything out uh so you guys can see how it looks all right guys so i went ahead and i took out all that moss in there you guys see there's a little bald spot right there it was really really yucky and all ugly it's all in there you guys can see it's all black so it was pretty overdue to go ahead and do this i'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this net up as much as i can and i'm gonna go ahead and put new moss in here and then i'm gonna go ahead and take that plant out of the pot rinse it out make sure it has nothing on it any pesticide or anything like that i did get a, i did go ahead and get that at the hardware store so i need to go ahead and make sure that thing's clean i'm gonna go ahead and clean the roots very well i am gonna leave a little bit of dirt in it just so that no, it has something i'm gonna go ahead and put moss on top of it and go ahead and put it there see how it comes out guys i'm also gonna go ahead and remove this i don't know if i said that already take this moss off put a little bit of it in this hole right here so we can put the other plant and uh yeah guys it's already looking better if you ask me all right guys so the plant is in i have not put the moss in yet just wanted to show you guys the root system real quick i went ahead and i left a little bit of dirt there you guys can see but it looks better already look at that beautiful plant like i said i went ahead and i rinsed it uh good enough so that there was no any there's not any pesticides as you guys know amphibians do breathe through their skin so i wanted to make sure there was nothing toxic on these plants and uh it looks good guys you know what i'm saying it's a little smaller than the one that was actually in there but i'm gonna go ahead and put some moss try to cover it up right there as much as i can and then we're gonna go ahead and move over here a little challenging and a little fun and i've never done anything like this before i'm not really a, a bioactive person i am gonna go ahead like i said and start doing a lot more bioactive here in this channel I do have a small exoterra one of these but it's like a cube version and i'm gonna go ahead and set it up with some you know i'm gonna go ahead and set it up bioactively and i do want to get a frog that i actually saw not, not too long ago so uh that's a project coming up here i do plan on putting it right there i'm gonna go ahead and get some nice led lights for it just to get the plants growing on it but yeah guys it's gonna be very exciting but let's go ahead and continue with this one right here this is the fun thing i like about amphibian enclosures that you can keep the humid you have to keep the humidity pretty high and you know just pretty fun adding all these plants and everything you know i thought it was going to be more difficult hopefully this plant doesn't die on me you know every time i try to like add a new plant to a bioactive enclosure it never really does that well it has good lighting it's on water so hopefully it does okay i don't know yet but we have our fingers crossed and let's hope we did a good job you know what i'm saying let me go ahead and add the moss and i'll show you guys how that looks real quick all right guys we went ahead and we added the moss already there it is plants looking good the closure looks already a little bit better you know I, I like giving it that color can't wait till this guy comes out and 
he's just gonna wake up to a brand new enclosure we went ahead and we covered the the plant with moss around it so that you know it could keep the hydrate keep the roots hydrated and hopefully give it enough time to you know get adjusted to the water and everything and hopefully it starts growing for us here now i'm gonna go ahead and start uh putting the other plant in real quick I and mean, i'm gonna go ahead and try to clean all that algae off the glass it's looking good guys i'm gonna go ahead and refill water you guys can see the water levels right here i'm gonna go ahead and refill it all the way up again and uh hopefully he enjoys his new enclosure all right guys so i went ahead and i already finished the enclosure it looks so much better than it did before look at this guys let me see if i can get this light a little bit closer look at how nice and alive this enclosure looks this plant was a little bit too high to put it where what was that? Your but uh, you know, it looks it looks good. Uh, hopefully, it does well right there where it's at. Hopefully, it doesn't you know damage the plant too much. But uh, you know, it looks okay. I like I like the colors, and uh, I really like this plant right here. This one right here is like the one that was already in there. The other one was actually pink. This one's actually red. And like I said, I went ahead and I put new moss up there. I put some moss in that little hole. We got some more water flowing. I went ahead and I filled up the water, and uh. Yeah, guys, everything is looking good and nice. I'm just waiting for this guy to come out so that I can get some good uh, shots of him, you know, around with all these plants up. But I'm happy with it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, this little, you know, rebuild of this bioactive enclosure. Everything that was in here actually died. There was actually a bromeliad in here. And there was another one of these, but pink. This, the, leaves, the leaves are pink. This one's actually red. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure of the difference, but it looks good. Got the moss in there. Like I said, hopefully it does okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We are going to be uh, getting more content of this aquarium soon, guys. Like I said, it's high in ammonia. So that's the only reason why uh, uh, there is no fish in there yet. But look at it, guys. You can't tell me it doesn't look ready. It looks ready, but it's not ready. Like I said, I went ahead and I got a new light for it. I got some rocks. I got that log thingy. We got the sponge filter. We got the heater. And we got the little thermometer thing up there, 76 degrees. Perfect. Everything is perfect. It's just that freaking ammonia. We even went ahead and we got some of those uh, bacteria started things. You know, we got some more over there in the back. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm actually going to this uh, fish store that's local here where I'm from. And you know that they're helping us out a lot on setting this enclosure up. Like I said, hopefully we don't run into any more problems. You know in these coming days so that we can be ready to add some fish i'm hoping to add some fish this coming weekend I have my fingers crossed you know i have the little water testers over there and everything so i am keeping my eye on the water and everything else trying to do good trying to keep the water perfect for the fish that are coming and uh yeah guys remember the chameleon we had up here she actually went ahead and laid eggs you guys kind of see her down there she's chilling down there we already uh, covered them up so i guess that's good she went ahead and she laid eggs we got a little lock here for diablo so that you know he doesn't do anything crazy and tries to escape on us like phantom over here yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoy this little bioactive build it looks so much colorful in here it just looks so dull so dead in there you know we went ahead and we were able to bring it back to life hopefully not temporarily hopefully these plants do well in here and uh if you guys know any any way of how to keep these plants alive before they even do bad on me please let me know down in the comments below i'm hoping these plants actually do well for me i even went ahead and i cleaned the outside remember i took it okay clean all that stuff you know it looks good and uh yeah guys i'm actually happy with the results like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna give you guys more updates on the aquarium and everything else soon got a room tour coming up we got a reptile expo coming up you know me and my girl are gonna go ahead and uh, go crazy see how much money we spend hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you on the next one Tropics. And she on my skinny jeans, I'm a hot topic And she asked my son, I say stop it I'ma keep going up like a used to rocket Life in the fast lane, no